In honor of Service Dog Mom, I have decided to not only share um, some facts about service dogs, but also seven things, seven because Sonoma just turned seven, things that I've learned about service dogs or learned about Sonoma in these past six years because I got him when he was one years old. One thing that I learned about service dogs is they are never done learning. They may pass all their tests and exams, but you're always going to be working on stuff with them. And that's not a bad thing, but it's a lot of commitment. And um, keeping up with training is very important. The second thing I have learned, and there's way more than seven, about service dogs is they need just as much or more at a certain age mental stimulation as physical stimulation and exercise. So they need and want their brains exercise. So even if I don't need Sonoma to do the laundry or do certain tasks, he wants to be mentally stimulated. So that's why I've come up with so many different tasks and things that he can do because he likes challenging his brain and that's extremely common for service dogs and that's why that they work so well. The third thing I've learned from having a service dog is that these dogs are, I mean, they're irreplaceable. They're, they're like no amount of money is, they're priceless really. And even though Sonoma was $25,000, um, he's still priceless. And that means that having pet insurance, even though he's not technically a pet, is so important because if anything goes wrong with him, uh, we need to make sure that he's protected. So I've learned the importance um, of insurance for Sonoma, and I think that's very helpful, and it's a great thing to have. Another thing I have learned through having Sonoma is service dogs are not robots. They are still service dogs and they do amazing services, but they're still dogs. They're still going to have what my mom and I call their dog moments when they bark in public. They pee in public because I was too stupid to let them out of the bathroom before. So I'm going to do that. Um, but that has happened to people. Um, it's just about how you go on with it and and how you work on that behavior if it's something that you need to work on so they're not robots they're not just going to do things perfectly all the time although um sonoma is still always perfect to me i have learned so much about hygiene for a dog throughout this journey of six years with sonoma um, the importance of brushing his teeth and brushing him daily as much as I possibly can. There are some days that I miss, but that's very rare and far and few between. And keeping his weight healthy and his food healthy. And I took so long researching different foods and treats and bathing him once a month. It is just so important for his health and... Um, dogs truly live longer for doing these things and keeping his nails short and trimming them once every one to two weeks depending on how long they are so I've really noticed um, and learned the how um, important that is and I really try to clean his ears and wipe his face and do all of those things every day to keep him as healthy as he can I have learned that a service dog is not just a dog that does great things for you, um, for me in a physical way, but even though Sonoma is not a psychiatric service dog, he helps me so much. He's my, like, my therapist, and he's who I go and I, I talk to and I snuggle and that I, I'm just so proud of him and I feel like it's important to tell him every day how proud I am of him and how much he's done, how much he helps me, because it's so amazing when I'm feeling sad or just lonely or exhausted, how much when he comes and snuggles and cuddles up to me, it's just amazing. And 
he really makes the hardest days worth living and worth pushing through. And that's something that I didn't really expect or know what I would get with a service dog. And it is one of the most incredible things ever. The bond I've created with my service dog Sonoma is like one of no other. We're practically together 24 seven. I mean, he's in there with the bath, in the bathroom with me. If, if I have to shower, he's in the bathroom with me. I have to go to the bathroom. He's out with me in all public places. Like, besides a few appointments that he can't be at, he's with me at all, the, all the time when I'm at work. And it's so different than having a pet. Because I've had dogs my whole life and I love them so much. And they're amazing dogs. But having a dog with you all the time creates this bond that you could not understand unless you've had a service dog and you've experienced that. And it's the most unbreakable and amazing bond. And I'm so lucky that I get to cherish that with Sonoma. And it's just, it's just amazing. Um, according to ECAD's website, and I'm sure this is different for everyone based on their situation, their own situations, their own lives, but if you are considering getting another service dog, um, after your first one, um, it recommends that you start, like, getting into the process and looking into it when your dog is about nine years old. That doesn't mean that your dog, um may be retired health reasons by that time or maybe not but um you don't want to be like stuck without a service dog if something happens a little bit later um so I have learned that and as of right now after Sonoma retires which I don't even want to think about um I will be getting another service dog and I am just I'm just so blessed to have ECAD in Connecticut educating canines assisting with disabilities. And they've been amazing to me.